Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and welcome back to Let's Make a Game. So I got a really good response for that menu video yesterday to to make the video with the mouse over and the click thing. Oh my gosh, you guys! You did. <laughs> that was a lot of comments. Okay, so um, tonight I kind of want to continue on with that. Um, it's all leading up to the load save slot bases, which I still haven't gotten figured out. But soon, soon I will. <sighs> like a little mat in here. <clears throat> so what I wanted to do is the next portion is going to be actually setting up the menu and uh, we're gonna have to do the same pretty much the same thing that we did yesterday of just building a, uh, a main menu. I want to have what do I want to have? I want to have sound on and off, uh, load, save, credits, and then an exit button. So that's it for right now. But, uh, let's see. Good gooeys, where's, there it is, the wood grain. I want to build the menu out of this. Whew. <clears throat> so, let's go ahead and copy that entire thing. And we're just gonna create a new layer. Okay. Paste it in, and we're going to do select border. Oh wait, 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 we have to do uh, anchor first. So we're gonna anchor it down. Then we're going to do select, oh, I guess control A, select border, four. We're gonna use that same fill tool like we did yesterday with the shaped, whoops, control Z, oh, control Y. Why is it not working? Hold on, what did I do wrong? Shaped angular, okay. Hmm. All right, try again. Yeah, that works. Press enter. So that's gonna create a slight outline for the entire thing. That should be all that we need for the the background image. So I want to uh, control shift S, save as um, wood grain, let's call menu BG for menu background. And then for each one of the buttons, I'm gonna actually create like um, the same drop shadows that we had yesterday, but they're going to be made out of just the wood image. So, <clears throat> oh, I guess I need to export first. So control shift A, this is what it's going to kind of look like. Control shift E. So this is going to export menu background. Good, good. The sound going overhead. Um, so, let's see, let's go ahead and drop this down. By the way, you may have seen some changes. I am building more. It's like an airplane falling out of the sky or something in the background. Hmm. <laughs> Look out, code, run! <laughs> no, um, let's close up the workspace, close up the server scripts, and we're going to the GUI, go into the menu, and that was our... BTN menu. So now I want a new frame. And this frame shall go right in the center. By the way, somebody told me, don't use the, the thing. I'm, I'm okay with using the thing. The, uh, the built-in GUI is okay. I know it doesn't work correctly all the time, but it's okay. It works. Uh, so the background transparency is going to be one and then I'm going to set Is there is there a background image? Let's see here if there is an image do I have to Let's see Okay, so we're just gonna call this frm menu and 
I'm going to have to add an image label. And this is this is pretty much going to be the background of the whole thing. Uh, but I want it to be the same size, right? I guess it doesn't really matter. As long as everything's inside the frame, it should work. Um, okay. Let's set this back down to zero, and we're going to change the background to just black. That way I know where my canvas is. And there, where, where, there. center, please. There we go. So this right here, we're going to change to that image. Add new image, choose a file, and oh, thank you, Viper Tech Gaming, for subscribing. Appreciate it. Going to change it to that. Hit create. Menu background. There we go. Uh, what are the dimensions of this? This is 612 by 408. I don't know that those dimensions equal out the same. Um, image size. All right, let's try it. 612 by 408. Okay. Okay. Yeah, no, that's the, that's the right size. Just need to be centered. So now, um, let's go back over to the frame. Stretch out the frame a little bit. Oh, that's, that's what you were talking about. Oh, gotcha. Um, actually, can I just grab this size? Copy, go back to the menu, size, paste, and enter. Nice. And that should be centered right like that. Good. Very cool. So now, um, let's see here. I want the buttons. Button, button, who got the button? So, first things we're going to do is we're going to create a new thing and we're just going to say uh, load. Wow, that is huge. So let's take it down to 75. Uh, it's still huge. Um, let's just say save. Load. Sound. Uh oh. Sound. Credits. that look might have to move that around some load. save save load sound credits hmm oh by by currency and stuff I don't like the size of that it just it doesn't look right for some reason that's 100%. So that's that's the size that it would look like. Hmm. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Can I do this? Let's try something real quick. Because I've, I've not done this yet. Let's go... Um, menu, frame, menu. It's going to be attached to the image label. Uh, so this is actually called... Um, menu BG, menu background. So if I add a image button, right, can I add that frame like before? Let's see how this looks, just real quick. How's that look for a button? And uh, looks kind of off. Mm. 
Yeah. Well, no. I, I mean, it kind of it has. Mm, yeah, we're not doing that. <clears throat> delete. And yeah, come here, you. Image button. Delete. Image button. Delete. So let's go ahead and we're going to create a button out of the save itself. So I need to control A to select all, control A L. Uh, selection, can I do invert selection? No, I cannot. Oh, wait, I can do this. Okay, so select, select like that. Then I can switch over to here and go selection invert invert selection because I'm I'm on the uh, the the wood grain not the actual text I hit copy go back up here and I hit paste and now this should oh come on oh, where's the where's the move at what in the world ah. Yay. So that's actually the, uh... okay. So let's paste this to a new layer, to new layer. And we want to move that layer over so it's right lined up with that. So you can't really tell that it's a thing, but if I come in here and I do copy, and then, um, <clears throat> let's see, new layer, okay, and paste. Oh, 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 excuse me. I don't want to anchor, I want to move. Oh gosh. I can't tell where the other layer's at because it's disappeared on me. Ugh. Okay. Let's move that down. There we go. Now I should be able to paste. Move this right underneath the save. Just like that. Oh, uh, there's still a little... Little... Oh, no. Come here, you. There. So it looks disappeared, right? That's where we do filters. And we're going to do this. Uh, let's blur it by, let's blur it by three. One, two, three, four, five. Let's blur it by five. Hit okay. I'm gonna hit control A, copy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, fifteen, <laughs> and anchor. So now I have a what looks to be like an outline, right? And I'm going to cause it to where uh, when you move over it, it actually lightens. But we are going to have to hide all the other layers first. So let's do that hide all the rest of the stuff. Okay, that layer right there actually needs to be cropped. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna select the stuff that I wanna keep. I'm gonna go select, invert, invert, and delete. Ooh, ooh, wrong layer, control Z, and delete. There we go. So, that's what it should look like. But I want just this area. So we're going to do image, uh, let's see, crop to selection. Come on, what happened, what happened? Image, crop to selection.
image. Oh, oh, it's not a selection, is it? Hold on. There we go. I had the wrong tool selected. So this right here is uh, add to the current selection, press shift. And this is subtract from the current selection, press shift. Or intersect. Is that intersect? I don't know what I'm doing. I have no clue. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Uh, also, make sure that you come out just a little ways because you want to be sure to, to get that feathering, the, the shaded area. So now image, crop to selection. There we go. Control Shift E. And we're going to say, uh, let's see, BTN save. Button to save. Export. Now I need to go and change this pasted layer. Color, brightness, contrast. Like that. Hit OK. Control Shift E. And this is going to be save hover. And then we're going to select that whole section. Going to pull it down just left or just to the right and down. Control Shift E. And this is going to be save click. All right. So now I can go Control Z Z Z Z. Uh, why? Just like that. And then we can start unhiding this stuff. And that should be what it looks like on the save. Save that. Oh my gosh. Code, you've been talking for 17 minutes. My goodness. So let's go ahead and add. Um, let's see. This is the frame menu. Menu background. So inside the frame menu, I'm going to add an image button. That image button is going to be doo -doo -doo -doo, doo -doo -doo. add image, choose file, save, and create. So we want the background to be transparency, transparent, uh, background transparency to one, enter. Oh, oh, I gotta, I gotta look at the, uh, the image size. Um, oh goodness. Open recent. Save. Save click. It is 218 by 116. So this size. Nope, size. Right here is going to be 218 by 116. So that should be the save menu. Beautiful. And we kind of want to match up the green just a little bit. Where, where was this on the other one? Okay. So just up here, right? Oh, that looks amazing. <clears throat> okay. So now the image hover hover image want the same thing choose image file oh that's the click there's the hover <clears throat> and then the clicked image clicked image oh darn it where's the uh, where's the last one Ah, it pressed image. Pressed image, I keep calling clicked. So, clicked. Okay, okay, great. Nice. <laughs> oh, that looks amazing. Okay, so what we want to do is uh, in this menu item, right, we had the, uh, the menu script. Um, menu click is going to be button uh, button menu equals visible false and what did we call it frm menu dot visible equals true and we don't know what frm menu is so we have to declare it up here at the top 
local frm menu equals script.parent dot frm menu. There we go. Now to get started, I actually want to make this visible false. Does that actually hide the button as well? Okay, cool. So, um, oh, we need a way to get back to it. So, should we create a wooden X button or just, I'll just throw an X on it for right now. Uh, visible, true. And what did, what did I call this image button? Let's BTN save. A new background. Uh, so I need another button, but I'm just going to do a text button. It's going to be in the top left hand corner. And the only reason I'm doing this is because it's uh, just quick and quick and easy, just to get it done. The text is going to be capital X. The font is going to be Gotham Semi Bold, just like that. Uh, background color. Background color. Let's choose a brown. Actually, I'm not. I'm not going to put too much effort into it as I spend the next 30 minutes trying to figure it out. Okay. There we go. That's fine. That's fine. Fine, fine, fine. So I want to make this one uh, BTN close menu. So inside the script itself, we want local BTN close menu equals script dot parents dot BTN no, uh, script up parent dot frame menu dot btn close. Just like that. Oh gosh. It's going to be a lot of scripting, isn't it? Yeah. That's fine. So on menu click, we show these. Uh, I also need the save button. Local btn save equals script dot parent dot frm menu dot save button. <laughs> so we have a menu click function. <clears throat> uh, close menu. S and D. I just want to say click, don't I? <clears throat> BTN dot menu, or BTN menu dot visible equals true, and BTN oops, sorry, FRM menu dot visible equals false. Mm. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. BTN. Um, what was, what did I call it? Close menu dot mouse button one click connect close menu. I can take those out. Uh, and then btn close menu dot mouse enter connect hover btn save dot mouse button one click connect uh, save and then btn save dot mouse button hover or mouse enter connect hover it's a lot of things to connect up and just keep in mind this is one button of what, six that I wanted to make so far? And I mean, we've got six minutes left. So it should give you an idea of like what it takes to create these things. Oh, I don't have an actual function to it, but. Oh. 
Oh my gosh, it looks so good. And there's all my trees growing. It's getting better. It is, it is looking much cooler. I love that as a menu as well. That's just amazing. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and visually hide this for now because there's some other stuff I wanna work on and play with, so. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of um, Let's Make a Game with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate, as I create an amazing save button that doesn't actually save anything yet, but uh, it, it will. Um, I don't know how to do the multiple slot save thingy yet. Uh, I'm just now working on like a single slot save. So it might just be saving your game as it is right now and then like loading a plot, right? And then like whatever your character has on them, carry it over to your other, your other plot. But I don't know if that's a good idea because then you could like exchange stuff in between your bases and I don't know. There, there's tons of ideas inside my head. I'm just, I just... Ugh. It's trying to get all of the things that I want to do done and I just I don't have time Time is one of the most precious things that you have and I want you guys to cherish cherish it as much as possible I know a lot of you are like oh man school sucks. I hate school. I wish I were it's summer blah 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 Enjoy your summer because it is very short and it's it's school's going to be very long Come back hang out watch videos stay up late Eat junk food, and do all the things that you're supposed to do as a kid. Go go outside and play uh, flashlight tag with your friends at nighttime. I don't know. Whatever it is you want to do. But just don't waste your time. Okay? Don't vegetate. Do something. I love you guys very much. Have a great night. We'll talk to you very soon. <laughs> Outro.